Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two Trader Joe's items for you. I have the oat and Greek yogurt sandwich cookies. Something. And I have the organic pumpkin spice granola bar. The granola bark was $3.99, the cookies were $2.99. We're gonna try the cookies first. They have a little um, pull, tab. pull tab on the top. Which never works the way they should. Okay. Don't work for you. So they come in a package. It says. Oh, it's gonna make it work. Almost like. <laughs> Your turn. Almost like breakfast in a cookie, Trader Joe's oat and Greek yogurt sandwich cookies are made in Greece with a slightly- Made in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> we dip these in Greece. We deep fried them. They're made in Greece with a slightly tart filling sandwich between two crisp oat cookies made with Greek yogurt. You want to split one or? There are, sure. There are nine servings, so nine cookies come in this container. Nine cookies. They're not soft, but okay. they're not hard either. They're 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 crisp. They're crisp cookies. 140 calories each. That has the texture of a shortbread. No, they're like fluffy girl. Do not like the yogurt though. Oh. The texture of the cookie. I don't like it. It's spot on. Mm-hmm. I love it. The texture of that cookie, I would give that a five out of five. I love the cookie. Mm -hmm. I hate the yogurt. That yogurt's like a negative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They need... If like, they, imagine the worst yogurt you've ever eaten, and this is worse. Yeah, because I, I like... I like the Dan and Light and Fit, which you wouldn't really know is yogurt, um, because there's no sourness to it. That is incredibly, incredibly sour. Um, they need to do this same cookie mm -hmm. with cake icing. I love the cookie itself. If they did that with cake like, icing, or just regular cookie cream. These would be selling. They would sell like crazy. <coughs> I'm telling you, they they because the texture of those. <coughs> Man. They knew exactly what they were doing, whoever made those cookies. Yeah, it's a They're light, delicious. light, airy um, cookie. Yeah, but that yogurt. The ruins yogurt it. ruins it. Yeah, so, so yeah, we will not be keeping these. Yeah, the, um, yeah, and it is a product of the, the country, Greece. Yeah. <laughs> these um, are Trader Joe's Organic Pumpkin Spice Granola Bar. These we found, um, you know they have the freezer sections and then they they sell all the cookies on top they utilize them. all that space that's where we found these kevin found these like in a little cubby next to like where the cheese and stuff yeah is. It was. Back in the back. okay <coughs> it's like they never those stick it so they stuck it back there trader joe's organic pumpkin spice granola bark is gluten-free pumpkin spice flavored granola layered with 66 percent Cacao dark chocolate and topped with toasted pumpkin seeds. It's gonna be a dark chocolate. Trader Joe's organic pumpkin spice granola bark is a layered delight. Made in small batches at the foot of the Green Mountains in Vermont, we start with gluten free oats and combine them with simple ingredients such as pumpkin puree, roasted almonds, coconut oil, warm spices, and maple syrup. Then we layer it with dark chocolate and top it with toasted and lightly salted uh, pumpkin seeds. Layer by layer, it's a crunchy, chocolatey, and delicious treat any time of the day. One and a half pieces, 38 grams, is 150 calories, and there are about six servings. That cookie, the texture of that cookie makes me want to eat more of the cookie. I know. It makes me want to go back, but then I remember the flavor of the yogurt. It's yes, like, oh, I can't you eat do. It. I'm telling you, the cookie is incredible. If they did peanut butter. Or just the cookie itself? They could put peanut butter in between that. Yeah, that would be good. Awesome. I would eat just the oat cookie. Oh, okay. These look, I don't know what I was expecting. I, I don't, I was, I was expecting uh, it to be thinner, I think. I don't oh, know like why. Yeah, because it looks really, really thin here. And I think that is, um, it's just thicker than what I was expecting. So it's granola underneath, chocolate, and then the pumpkin seeds. Yeah, but they put maple syrup in it.
Não há aquele livro. Meu livro. O gato não trouxe bem. Then I ate a big piece. Hey, too. I, I don't know why I did that. I'm wasting. I wish I could spit it out. <laughs> it's not that bad, but it's pretty bad. I don't like the maple. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, I really don't like the chocolate. I don't like the pumpkin spice that they used. The pumpkin spice is way too strong. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, it's just that. Nice. Yeah, all that's pretty bad. Mm. Yeah, the pumpkin, I don't like the... The, the chocolate's pretty bad too. The, they use nutmeg, clove, ginger, cinnamon, you can taste vanilla all extract. Doses. I don't like it at all. I mean, I think that is nasty. The pumpkin seeds are good. Gosh, how much were these? <laughs> so we spent eight dollars. These two things, we spent eight dollars just to put that in perspective. Eight dollars on something that we're never going to touch again. That, I mean, but you know, that's what we do. That's we we do it so you don't have to. We do it to save you eight dollars. Of course, there's some of you out there who quite love this stuff. If you like sour, sour yogurt. Yeah, because people recommend yogurt to me and I'm thinking that's way too sour. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, uh, there are specific brands that Kevin's tried and he's like, that is just way too sour it's like it's for me. Bad. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I'm not being funny. If you like sour yogurt, you You'll would like truly them. like these. Yeah. And you are going to love the cookies. The cookies are awesome. If anyone knows if you've had these, if you know if they use these same cookies for something else, like if they make them in a in a peanut butter version or something, let me know because I would love to buy them. Mm -hmm. I, I would love to try them because lemon, lemon cream, any, anything, anything, really. but anything but that yogurt. Um, because the the cookies, I'm telling you, are five out of five. Uh, the yogurt, though, never again. This, mm -mm. Yeah. it's bitter. There's nothing about that's good. And it's not the chocolate. For me, it wasn't the chocolate. I mean, yes, the chocolate. The chocolate's not good either. The chocolate is not good either. Yeah, but the spice is probably the worst. The spice is so heavy, heavy handed on that spice. And you said it has maple because I got a chemically kind of maple flavor too, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it at that at all. I mean, in the, at least these you could potentially scrape off the yogurt and eat the cookie. You could. And it's probably going to be more so if you take it apart on one side. Yeah, you get it more so on one side than the other. Am I going to do that? No. But there's potential there. This has no potential. It's just bad. Not much you pick a whole seam off. That'd be the only thing. It's good. Yeah, but there. you know that inside there it still has the seasoning. No, I mean these. Yeah, it's little just bit nasty. I don't even want These to are okay. think about eating another piece. I wish I hadn't have eaten that big piece. It was awful. <laughs> you, if you follow my channel, you know where this is going. So, and it still is going to be full when, when at the end of next month when I talk about it. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this saves you eight dollars. And thanks for watching. <laughs>